dystopian times. We're segueing into um, the Joe Rogan segment. Um, so the video that he posted to his Instagram live, it's about a minute and 30 seconds. I want to play it from start to finish. Some of it is irrelevant. He talks about like a show being canceled because he got COVID, but he says something at the end that nearly made my head explode. So folks, let's listen to Joe Rogan explain what he did after learning that he got COVID. Hello, friends. So I got back from the road Saturday night feeling very weary. I had a headache and I just felt just run down. And just to be cautious, I separated from my family, slept in a different part of the house. And throughout the night, I got fevers and sweats and I knew what was going on. So I got up in the morning, got tested, and it turns out I got COVID. He does so we immediately sick. threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z uh prednisone, everything. Uh, and I also got an NAD drip and a vitamin drip. And I did that three days in a row. And so here we are on Wednesday and I feel great. I really only had one bad day. Sunday sucked, but Monday was better. Tuesday felt better than Monday. And today I feel good. I actually feel pretty fucking good. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is we have to move Friday the Friday show in Nashville. Uh, it's going to move to Sunday, October 24th. So that will be the new Nashville date. My apologies to everyone. Obviously, there's nothing that I can control. Um, it is what it is. Crazy times we're living in. Uh, but yeah, a Thanks wonderful, heartfelt thank you to Modern Medicine for pulling me out of this so quickly and easily. So that last line there made my head nearly pop off my shoulders. A um, big thank you to Modern Medicine, as on his program, he regularly promotes conspiracy theories, has anti-vax rhetoric. And let me just say real quick here, for those of you who haven't already gotten the message, ivermectin is not FDA approved to treat COVID-19. People are getting poisoned because they are trying to get access to ivermectin. They're, they're purchasing horse paste. So just to be overly responsible here, I want to take some time to go through this before the panel discusses. So um, in the event any of Joe Rogan's fans brigade the video when this is a segment, as they usually will, hi, fellas, uh, FDA has not approved ivermectin for use in treating or preventing uh, COVID-19 in humans. Okay? Not something that is acceptable. Um, on top of that, for the individuals who call me a big pharma shill for being pro-vaccine and supporting modern medicine, the individuals promoting ivermectin may not have realized that Merck is the manufacturer of ivermectin, also big pharma, yeah. who had to put out this statement saying, please do not take ivermectin to treat or prevent COVID-19. That is not what it is for. If it is prescribed for human beings in a human dose... Um, it's going to be for a parasite. So, I, I mean, in his video talking about COVID-19, he says he uses ivermectin. He says that he's feeling better. He looks horrible. A ton of the commenters said it as well. I don't understand um, why so many people are falling for this. And let me just say real quick also, um, so there's a little bit of the, this origin story. I know that Brett Weinstein is another IDW individual who's been pro promoting ivermectin, among others. But there's a group called the Frontline COVID Critical uh, Care Alliance, who's also been boosting this. And this is a really great report from Marissa Cabos of HuffPost. We can't get into it because it's fa fairly long, but I'd encourage you all to check it out because it gives you a little bit of insight into how this got popularized. But I don't think it's just this group. It it's been popularized everywhere. Uh, right before uh, Joe Rogan got COVID-19 about a month or so ago, he had on a guest who promoted ivermectin. So I just want to put that out there and, and see, um, you know, if the panel wanted to weigh in because the ivermectin situation is, it has been, I mean, there's, there's anti-mask made me lose faith in humanity. The anti-vax stuff made me lose more faith. And the ivermectin has me so doom and gloom. I don't, how did we get here, Tina? <laughs> I don't, you know, what really blows my mind about this is that these are the same groups that are saying I won't take a vaccine because it's experimental. Are you right. kidding me? Wait, because you think ivermectin <sighs> isn't? Not only is it experimental, there's like no peer-reviewed studies on it whatsoever. Vaccine science, however, is quite sound. Regardless of whether big pharma is corrupt or not, and it is, I will give you that. 
Bot science exists. Bot big pharma profiteering exists. Nobody's saying that stuff doesn't exist. But that doesn't mean that every scientist that works in biomedical research, that works in epidemi epidemiology, is part and parcel to that. They're not. It's a sound system. It is set up to have checks and balances. And we have thousands of studies on why vaccines are safe to use. The mRNA uh, technology financed by taxpayer dollars. The Pfizer vaccine financed by German government taxpayer dollars. So this isn't only solely about big pharma. And you're right, Merck Merck is who makes ivermectin. They are also big pharma. So none of this makes any sense to me. I just don't know where we got to such a stupid place. And I've ha also had people yell at me over this, but I'm just like, are you kidding me right now, guys? Well, Listen, get vaccinated. Let, let me say one thing about that, because I loved it when I found that statement from Merck. And that was the exact mm -hmm. argument I used in my tweet. Look, if it's big pharma, why is Merck putting this out? And someone did answer me, and I have to say I haven't independently verified this, but they said that Merck, that ivermectin is off patent now. So Merck isn't mm. making money from it. But Merck oh, for, is, Okay, but they're always going to well, have some ridiculous thing. I let mean, me finish the point. So, But Merck is actually working on an ivermectin for COVID, and they are doing studies on ivermectin for COVID. Great, but fair, I, do that. I, my favorite, my favorite meme was uh, people that called you sheep for uh, wearing masks and doing vaccines <laughs> are literally taking sheep medicine. I, I saw that. that. I saw. <laughs> yeah, I I saw that, and that that was a really great meme. Uh, okay, so so Josie, the the subtext here of this Joe Rogan story is that he praises modern medicine, has railed against vaccines multiple times. He took everything, like he basically said, you know, he he. <laughs> did the whole kitchen sink, but he is presumably not vaccinated unless I'm, I'm incorrect here. Um, he discouraged young people from getting vaccinated. He's, he's healthy. He says, if you maintain good health, you don't need the vaccine. I, I would tell somebody who's young to, to not get vaccinated. Um, do you think, and this is kind of difficult because we're, we're psychoanalyzing Joe Rogan here, Josie. Do you think he'll have a change of heart and finally stop promoting misinformation when it comes to COVID-19? What are your thoughts? Because I'm not too optimistic. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not too optimistic either. And, and he already thinks he's, he's cured like what, three days later, like everybody knows that the symptoms hit you like pretty hard. So we still got a few days to wait to see where that his body is going to protect him. And really, Joe Rogan is a product of what has been happening. And I, and I did this on my uh, my personal media talking about so I'm, I'm a vegan, I, I, I'm pretty, pretty public and open about that. In fact, I think I've even talked to you about it before, right? But there has been a weird connection between like the holistic community, the yoga community, a lot of the vegan community yeah. have mm -hmm. been co-opted into this like, I'm tough, I'm healthy, you know, Zen is my medicine type stuff, right? And it's a lot of woo-woo stuff. And yeah. and what what's happened is the the um the Joe Rogan brand has kind of developed around this naturalistic, holistic. Right type of situation mm -hmm. so for him like and 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 this is this is something that i think about you know being a streamer myself talking to other streamers and other personalities is your brand and what you represent to your audience is everything you can you can completely prove a personality completely wrong like dot, 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 this is the answer. Two plus two equals four on their stream and everything. And they'll be like, well, I don't know. I don't, it, it doesn't matter. And then they'll completely just avoid it and talk, not talk about it anymore. And because it protects their brand. So if, if Joe Rogan changes his tune, he's going to lose money. He's going to mm -hmm. lose people. And, 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 and it's very clear. Here's the data point. Look at Donald Trump talking about suggesting COVID vaccines and he's even being booed by it. Mm. So, so, I was so, going to mention that he was yeah. in Alabama and that was it. I read that in an article that said yeah. his movement has gone to the right of him. He can't can even control his movement anymore. Ex exactly. Mm -hmm. So so there right. is direct evidence that proves that devout zealotism, I guess, I guess to be a zealot, to be one of those sheep that Lauren was talking about, you have to just 
follow that line of thinking no matter what. It's going to be politicized. And if Joe Rogan or any other leaders turn on that, then they are then cut by the thousand needles of the, the movement going around. So so when it comes to Joe Rogan or, uh, himself, like, honestly, I don't want to be mean, but like, it you can, probably, you can. It would probably take like to like like ventilation status of like him thinking that he may lose his life before that tune gets changed. Um, yeah. And that, that's scary. And I don't want it to go to that point. I just want people to just see the science and do it. But I right. think really mortality is one of those things that make humans think straight. And I don't know if, it, if he doesn't reach that point, it's going to get worse.